What's up, Scotty from Chernobyl Studios, and I bet you thought this video wasn't going to happen. You're like, aha, the video didn't come out on Sunday, didn't come out last week. He's not playing guitar left hand anymore. He quit. He's given up. Uh, no. In fact, that's such a big no that I've got a new guitar here, left-handed. I'm going to show it to you right now. So this is a Harley Benton, actually. Um, I don't have autofocus on here, so we're just going to deal with it. It's a Harley Benton Pro Series Amarok with EM actual EMGs in here. Now, I have to give a huge thank you to Mike and Aaron out there at AXDSP. They just did this for me. So I was at Hertz Studio recording drums, and then I came back to a message from Aaron on the Slack channel because I help AX do marketing uh I just help AX do marketing. Let's say like that. Aaron was asking me a bunch of questions like, hey man, so what kind of scale length do you like? You know, what, you know, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, why are you asking me these questions? And they wanted to buy me a guitar, basically, left-handed. They saw the the stuff that I was doing with the Jackson, you know, with the with the action being super high and being really hard to play. And they were like, we would like to help you out. So Mike and Aaron, huge, huge thank you. I mean, this um I don't even know what to say. I mean, I really don't even know what to say. This kind of stuff just doesn't generally happen to me. I'm not that lucky of a person. So I'm super grateful. And uh, I really look forward to playing this and showing my progress in all my videos with this. And I have to say, the, the guitar is nice. The guitar is nice. The only thing that I could, if I have to say anything, is the... You can see there the bridge pickup is angled a smidge, and I literally don't care. It's like, don't even in the slightest, don't even care about that. Um, I'm sure you could flatten it out and whatever, but man, the guitar is nice. The, the frets, like there's nothing happening here on the frets, no issues. It's, it's a really nice guitar. I have no idea how Tone's making any money from these. Um, so uh, the guitar is fantastic. So once again, to Aaron and Mike, Dude, wow. Um, I'm very appreciative and um, thank, thank both of you guys so, so much. All right, so I'm just doing this on the fly right now. I know the camera angle is nonsense, but just deal with it. All right, here we go. So uh, it's clearly a lot easier to play. You know, I don't have to press down so hard to play the notes, which obviously helps a lot. <laughs> Um, obviously the speed is up there and it's, the notes are cleaner, but also in a way, I think struggling like that to really like get the fingers in the right position to, to fret the notes sort of helped a little bit. Um, my fingers are super, you're not going to be able to really tell, but I can feel them. I can feel them here. Now I kind of came up, so I was at Hertz studio recording drums and I asked Wojtek, you know, cause we were recording. I said, Hey man, you know what? Is the what's the biggest piece of advice that you would give someone like a new drummer starting out right before they come to the studio? And Voitech was like, I would recommend the, the drummer to record themselves in some way as quickly as possible so they could hear what they're doing. And I was thinking about that. I'm like, you know what? He's absolutely correct. And I'm learning how to play guitar left handed, so I need to start recording left handed. So I have um, done exactly that. Last week I recorded a riff. Um, and then this week, I re-recorded it again. The goal is at least once a week, you know, to re-record the riff for a while, just to see what the progress is. Obviously, if I get really good at the riff, you know, it's not whatever, maybe write a new riff, which would also be good, right? I'm not saying I have to re-record this riff for a year. I'm just going to re-record this riff until I can play it comfortably and musically, and it sounds good. Uh, the riff is qu quite simple, but, you know, it's still hard for me to play left-handed. Um, the other thing, too, about playing left-handed is different musical ideas are coming to me, uh, probably because I'm not technically proficient anymore. And so more simplistic melodic ideas are coming to me instead of me trying to think of, like, you know, how many 16th notes can I put in this measure or something. So the, the riff is very simple. It's just uh, it's a very basic melody. That's actually not the melody. I was doing something else. Uh, 
Um, I'm playing it quite fast because it's really slow. Um, but also, I'm doing rhythm guitar parts with it. I basically wrote a uh, like a really mini song for it. And I'll play it for you guys. I'll show the session here, and I'll show it to you guys. But the the point really is to force myself to pay attention to what I'm doing with both hands. You know, I'm playing to a metronome. I'm playing to the click. I'm trying to make all the notes be clean and clear. And I'm forcing myself to be accurate and to pay attention to what I'm doing. Because if I just sit here and watch YouTube... I mean, okay, I'm playing guitar, but I'm not practicing. I'm not actually playing the guitar. Right? And just doing that for 20 minutes doesn't do anything. You know, and just... Chromatics, stuff like that, it's not going to help me either. Making songs, recording them, forcing myself to repeat something over and over, that's what will really make the difference. So that's the riff. Uh, let me do it again for you. So that's the actual riff. On the uh, rhythm side, it's really simple. It's like doom metal, right? So I just go. See? But the interesting thing that I'm coming into is I'm just my picking hand is not up to snuff, right? So practicing the guitar this way, I think, makes sense. Um, and then there's harmonies, you know, instead of playing the power chords. I've made it a bit easier for myself where I separate the power chord shape into a left and right rhythm channel. So it sounds a lot like My Dying Bride, basically, like classic Doom power chord stuff. Um, but that's the idea, okay? And it, I cap it off with a tremolo riff because, of course, right? Because that's me. I do tremolo picking. And the tremolo riff is this. <laughs> And I'm recording like that. Like, but that's what the recording sounds like. I'll play it for you guys. You'll hear it. But that's the whole point, I think, of recording it. To, to, because if it sounds perfect right away or I do a million takes to where it sounds perfect, what's the point, right? You know, I don't feel weird playing these riffs for you so you can hear every single mistake. I think it's cool. And I'm, I, I, this will be a great chronolo you know, chronological, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, it'll be cool to look back at these videos and go, wow, I couldn't even like tremolo pick cleanly for a bar a year ago compared to what I'm doing now. And, you know, um, I think it's inspiring. I think it's pretty cool. So let's put the guitar down for a second. Uh, let's switch to the Cubase screen here, and I'll show you the session uh, of the entire riff that I'm recording uh, so you can hear it. All right, so here's the session in the DAW. So... I've already recorded once because I came up with the idea last week. So what I what I really did was just literally play the first thing that came to my mind. I wasn't thinking like, oh, this needs to be like fucking musical masterpiece. It was just, let's create a melody that's simple, challenging for me to play at this moment and check it out. So I'm going to play you the better sounding one. <laughs> but you can tell even in these recordings that, you know, the tremolo picking is not smooth. Uh, my rhythm playing is not that tight it's not that great uh but it, i'm playing on the beat i find that very fascinating where i'm i'm playing on the metronome i'm i'm it's cool all right so let's zoom in here and i'm probably gonna flesh this out with some drums if i'm gonna be listening to this so much but let's listen to it completely naked here so we can we can hear all the warts and everything <laughs>
there's the the little riff here, and that's what I'll be re-recording uh, at least once a week. And the idea being that once I can play this pretty much no problem in one take, uh, you know that would be that would be ideal. Now the first time I recorded this, I pretty much had to <laughs> really you know do this bit by bit here. I couldn't really do it at all. Um, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> But you can hear the leads are way shaky. Much shakier on the leads. Um, kind of have the same issue here, uh, transitioning between the, the strings. That's where the problem is. Sitting on one string. Not bad, okay? And the pick attack is there. Every note is clear as a bell. So... This is what I'm gonna do. So this is my uh, gonna be my basically my regiment. So I'm practicing at least 45 minutes to an hour a day for real. I actually really am. Um, as I've said in previous videos, it's somehow like I don't know. It's not new. I'm not learning guitar from scratch, but doing doing it this way with knowing everything that I know now about recording music and playing music, somehow learning guitar is just a bit more fun. <laughs> And being able to record myself immediately, uh, and the technical side is not a problem. It's actually just this picking hand. So pretty cool. All right. So that is the update, guys. That is what I'm doing. And um, I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me in the comments, by the way. I see it. I'm, you know, I'm just, again, I, I can't believe that this is happening. You know, the guitar and all the stuff from Mike and Aaron and AIX DSP, um, I'm very I'm very thankful, and I'm thankful to you uh, to tune in every week to see how I'm doing. So I appreciate it, all right? There's so much stuff going on in my life right now, work-wise. It's hard to fit a YouTube video in, but I have I have stuff to do. Oh, that's the wrong side, but, you know, I got stuff that I need to be doing. That I, need to be doing. I got videos that people are waiting on, <sighs> and, you know, I just was at Hurt Studio recording something. Actually, I can just tell you what it is. So I, I'm recording. I recorded the drums for the upcoming mixing death metal uh, training course that I'm doing, and it was an absolute honor to work with Wojtek and Swawik down there at at uh, Stork, recording drums in the same room that Inferno recorded drums for the Satanist. Okay, so they those dudes are professionals. The drums sound amazing. The song's killer. Uh, you guys are gonna like it. Uh, to that end, however, I am going to post a survey down on the link. Please fill out the survey. It's just three questions. It'll take you like 90 seconds. It'll help me to... to. I just need to know what you guys want to know, right? So I can take a shot in the dark and be like, Ugh, but it might not be exactly what you need. So fill out the survey, please. Let me know exactly what's bothering you and how I can actually help you. And so I can make the best uh, possible material... Best possible material possible. English is just... Words, guys. Words. Oh. All right. So link down below for the survey. Please click that, fill that out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.